Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you the uncut, unfiltered, uncensored version of the Graduate Algorithms Review at Georgia Tech for their own SCS program. Now, I originally put this video up, but then quickly took it back down after it's getting some uh, hateful comments. But honestly, I want you guys to know the truth. Well, not really the truth, but at least what I honestly think about the review, or sorry, about the course. And I made the more neutral review that's already public, which I'll link above if you want kind of just the straight facts without much of my opinion. But uh, this one is definitely what I honestly think about the class overall. So let's get started. All right, hey everyone. So let's talk about Georgia Tech's graduate algorithms course. Yeah, this was honestly a really difficult class, not because of the content necessarily. I would say it's more difficult because of the way in which you have to do assignments and exams. So in my opinion, this class is not very good. Uh, my ultimate advice is to just skip it and do interactive intelligence as your specialization. You'll notice that your exams are an enormous part of your grade. H is worth 24%. If you miss something on your exam, uh, you're screwed. And by the way, each exam, you only get two questions. First homework, I guess, you just do some kind of self-assessment between big O notation, graph theory, and Boolean logic. Okay, so homework one is honestly pretty cool. I'm not going to tell you the exact questions that they ask you for your homeworks, but I will just kind of explain a similar idea with a different problem. So this one is called edit distance. It's kind of like Google search. Let's say you mistype your search thing and Google's trying to guess like, what did you actually mean? This is actually kind of relevant. So like, let's say you type this top string here, cookster codes this, and then the Google algorithm is like, hey, I'm guessing that was coolster codes, but like how close is that to actually coolster codes? So homework number two, graphs. And basically with this one, I'm not gonna tell you the exact same question again, but it's a really similar problem. So traveling salesman is like, you have a bunch of cities that you have to go visit because you're selling stuff. What's the fastest route to reach like all those cities? It's a really complicated problem and it's actually not feasible to completely solve it. Even with today's powerful computers, you have to do like approximations. All right, homework three. So this one's called the fast Fourier transform. Basically, it's the way to undo a smoothie. So control Z that smoothie like, oh, you have a smoothie and you're trying to figure out like what's in it. Well, you just plug it into the fast Fourier transform and out you get all the original ingredients and exactly how much they were. Let's talk about homework four. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't even do this one at this point in the class. I was so tired. Right, homework five, minimum spanning trees. So a spanning tree is like, you wanna access all of the points in your graph still, but like, how would you do that? So the fastest way is like, oh, take D and E and remove that. You can still access everything, but now there just aren't extra edges. All right, so homework number six, this is about RSA, which is a crypto system, basically like how do you keep messages secret or how do you log into your computer secretly and all that stuff. So it's kind of the basis of just like cryptography. And what you need to know is modular arithmetic three mod two, basically what's the integer left after you subtract two? Oh, there's just one. That's like mod. So essentially you take this, but you put it on steroids. All right, so let's talk about projects. So this one is an example, for example, like Fibonacci numbers, you know, one, one, two, and then two plus one is three, three plus two is five, etc. You can do this in a recursive way, but you end up repeating yourself many times. If you do the recursive way, you're like doing work over and over again that you've already done. So it's really slow. But if you do it the dynamic programming way and do a for loop, you're saving the results from previous work and you're just reusing it so that it's a lot faster. Project number two is minimum spanning tree. Um, it's the same thing as above in homework three or something. Uh, you're just going to do it with this specific algorithm called Kruskal's. The next thing is exams. So yeah, this is like I mentioned above, there are only two questions. And so if you miss one, you're down a letter grade and it's really prone to interpretation errors. Like you're trying your best to write pseudocode, but the TAs could like read it and explain it or interpret it a completely different way. So in my opinion, it's just not a good idea to have this so much weight on these crazy little exams. Finally, I would like to say, yeah, basically like it's really easy if you wanted to, you could cheat on these homeworks and, but that's really bad because first of all, I mean, like you would still fail on the exams because those are proctored, but also your integrity, right? Don't cheat your way through school. Like you're not learning it. That's the case. It's not worth it at all. That's like defeats the whole purpose. So before this course, I was in machine learning as my specialization. And then after this, I switched to interactive intelligence, which was tough. Honestly, I felt like, man, I'm such a loser. Like I wasn't able to do it. You know, 
But like, honestly, looking back, I'm like, I don't really think it's worth it. Like your master's degree will still say computer science. Who's going to dig into the details about your specialization? And even if they do, I think people are more concerned about with like, what do you actually know? What do you understand? What are you able to apply? Okay, yeah, my grades here. So you'll see that I withdrew from this class, meaning I am on my next final class, uh, which is software development process. And I'm going to tell you all about it in the upcoming video. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I make more of these as I go along the program. I'm almost done. I'm on to my last class this semester. So hit that subscribe button for a final grand finale video. Thank you.